Mega ATVinator is all done. And I gotta work on the name though. Man, look at this thing. It has the awesome flare there and the cool T-Rex Ranch logo in the front. And all my darts everywhere. And my Mega Lunchbox. It even has the shrink ray and the Mega Dino Ray. Man, this thing is so cool. I think it's about time to take it out for a spin. Okay, here we go. Hat go on. Helmet go on. All right, there we go. Okay, let's get going. Okay, Mr. Triceratops, here comes Mr. Raptor. He's gonna get you. <laughs> and Mr. Carnivore defeats the herbivore again. <laughs> Uh-oh. Woo! Wow, man! This thing is awesome! There's a paddock fence down! I gotta sound the alarm! The alarm's going! Huh? Is that the park alarm I just heard? Come in, Park Ranger LB. Whoa! Whoa. Park Ranger Aaron's calling me on my walk to watch. Yeah, go ahead, Park Ranger Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the paddock fence power sources has failed. Now the entire paddock fence is down. What? If the paddock fence has failed, which one is it? Uh, it looks like it could be the Stegosaurus paddock. Uh, but you know, it could be the paddock fence that's shared with the T-Rex paddock. So uh, I don't know, you I have to be careful. I need you to come back to Dino HQ right away and get a new power source, okay? Okay, I'm on my way. Come on, new and improved ATV. We have some new and improved work to do. Oh. Where's he going? What's he going up on the road for? Oh, wait. Oh, here he goes. Uh oh, the signal's breaking up there. Oh, okay, his back's back. Good. Whoa, okay. Here we go. Whoa. Ah, ah, oh man, phew, oh no, my engine died. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh, no, my mega lunch box. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is it. way around the park by now. We're going into the woods, Park Ranger LB. Whoa. Okay. Oh no. I'm entering the Stegosaurus path. Better beware. OK. 
day around that corner, and that corner, and around that corner. Oh man, I just stuck a short. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna? Aha! Oh, oh, oh. Let's drink it! Too important of a mission. Okay. Yeah. Hey, little stegosaurus. That's what you get for going in my path. Now you're a little bitty little stegosaurus. Instead of a big old dino. Okay, let me put you in my backpack and I'll put you back later, okay? Okay, let's put you in there. There we go. Oh yeah, don't touch that restarter. Okay, here we go. Yeah. today. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, man, that was really dead. Uh-oh. <gasps> charging, charging, charging! Come in, Park Ranger OB! Whoa! Park Ranger Aaron. <sighs> yeah, go ahead, Park Ranger Aaron. I see T-Bone on the radar! He's coming right for your location, man! T-Bone! You gotta get out of there quick! Hurry! He's right on top of you! Okay, I'll be right there! I just gotta finish charging this battery! Come on, come on, come on! Charge! Okay! Come on, zipper! What? Oh no! Up. It's not flashing anymore here on the map. Oh yeah, just in the nick uh, kind of time. I had to zap T-Rex back in using the Mega Dino Ray. <sighs> wow, man, that was an awesome adventure. Hey, that's great work, man. You did an awesome job getting that thing fixed like that. Why don't you go ahead and come on back to Dino HQ, okay? Okay, I can't do that just yet. I still have to enlarge the Stegosaurus. I kind of shrunk down earlier. Stegosaurus? Yeah, it's a long story, but just to make it short, I'm gonna go zap it. Woohoo! Okay, spiky wiky, come on out, man! <sighs> okay, oh no, sorry, sorry. Boop. Okay, here we go, Spike! Look, there they are. Wait, is that two Orsons? Gotta go! 41 minutes earlier. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go! 
move back six steps, come on! All right, park rangers. While Maisie and Bella are off on their training mission, I need us to come up with some new and safe dino controlled devices. The Dino Master left us some powerful gadgets, but are often dangerous and unreliable. But we just started our game of T-Rex Trouble. Oh, well, I guess I'll just keep this reptile wrangler achievement badge to myself. We're in! That's more like it. We've got an unruly Spinosaurus, so I'll need your ideas in an hour. But that's so soon. I mean, no sweat. <laughs> Plenty of time. Come on, little guy. Let's go. Playtime? Come on. You two ready to have some structured fun? Pretty soon, these little guys will be bigger than us. Like, way bigger. Which is why we have to train them young. And we'll start with spherical object retrieval. Fetch. Fetch the ball, Para. Go get it. Go ahead, Ty. That's OK. Maybe they're more into other sports? Hey, Sam, come up with the ideas for new gadgets? Not yet, but any minute now. What's in the book? Oh, just some brainstorms. You did these all today? Yeah, mostly, but I better get working on some new prototypes. Good luck. Ugh. Okay, one more time. Fetch! That was the last toy I had! Any luck, Bella? No, but I've got a good feeling about this one. Ducks are birds, and birds are basically dinosaurs, right? So this will be like a family reunion. Okay, <laughs> new plan. Well, I'll be an Allosaurus's uncle. Sarah, you did it, you fetched. What's your excuse, mister? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Alexa. Hello, Park Ranger Sam. How can I help you? I need help coming up with a new idea for a dino gadget. Let me think about that. Also, would it be okay if I said it was my idea? I mean, you don't need an achievement badge, right? I'm sorry, my services are unavailable right now. Okay, well, what if we share credit? Like a collaboration? I'm sorry, my services are unavailable right now. I see, playing hard to get. Well, maybe you can't help me, but I know who can. Arexa, call the Dino Master. Calling the Dino Master. But remember, it was your idea, not mine. Oh, Park Ranger Sam, what can I do for you? Ready to come crawling back, are you? What? No. I need help coming up with a new idea, and I heard you're good with gadgets. Hmm. A little brainstorming, eh? Let's hear what you got so far. Okay. Um... What about a big, wide thing with cushions, so when the dinos get upset, they can sit on it and relax? You're looking at the couch right now, aren't you? No. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Since I'm feeling charitable today, I'll give you my worst idea, which is still ten times better than your best idea. Hey, Sam, almost ready? Yeah. All right, I'll go get Asher. Okay, now roll over. You are just the perfect little Parasaurolophus, aren't you? <laughs> Still no luck, huh? 
It's so weird. Back at Dino HQ, this little guy loves to play with Asher, but when I try, it's like I'm not even there. Maybe it's all about enthusiasm. Show that you're really excited to play with him. You're right. Good note. Okay, buddy! Go get the frisbee! No, no, don't get up. Watch me, I'll show you how it's done. On second thought, maybe we'll continue this lesson another time. Pack the babies! All right, Asher, let's hear your pitch for the next Dino Control gadget. Sure, I have a whole notebook of ideas. Uh, how about you just tell us your top three? Oh, top three, okay. What's the best way to scare off an angry Allosaurus? This feels like a joke. We give up. How do you scare off an angry Allosaurus? Great question, let me show you. Don't want to go extinct twice, right? Nicely done, Asher. Very effective. Next up, the boom boom whistle. It makes any dino that hears this instantly go poop. Wait! Sure it only works on dinosaurs? Um, I'm not 100% sure. In that case, let's save the poop your pants whistle for another day, huh? It can mimic anyone's voice. Here, catch. Hi, I'm Sam, and this is how I talk. Hi, I'm Orson, and I love rules. Hi, I'm Maisie. I'm like your cool big sister. So, what do you guys think? Very impressive, Asher. Although I'm sure Sam's got some great ideas of her own. Get on up there, Sam. Okay, so whenever birds eat crops on a farm, you need a scarecrow to get rid of them, right? So I made a scarecrow just for dinosaurs, the Scarodactyl. Are you amazed or frightened? I can't tell. Well, it's definitely scary. It looks just like you! <laughs> oh. Oops. Go for Orson. Maisie to Dino HQ! We need backup! We got a Spinosaurus situation that's about to get spinier! Oh, Spinosaurus. Got it, Park Rangers. On our way. But I may need to lay low. Me and Spiny do not get along. The Spinosaurus? He hates Park Ranger Orson. Wait, that gives me an idea! Sam, bring your Scarodactyl! Wait, is that two Orsons? I wasn't sure that it would, to be honest. Hey, Asher, can I borrow your little voice doohickey? Sure. All right, let's try this one more time. Hey, Ty. Fetch. <laughs> Whoa, how did you know that would work? I've seen how close Asher and Ty are. I think that each baby dino has their own favorite human. Oh, Kara, does that mean I'm your favorite? Sam, 
for your very handsome and well-dressed Scarodactyl, I present to you the Reptile Wrangler Achievement Badge. Great job, Park Ranger Sam. That was a great idea. And Asher, for improving in Sam's idea and helping save the day, I present to you the Teamwork Titan Achievement Badge. Wow, thanks. I'd also like to add that Asher had a lot of great ideas, like... Hey, what's this whistle? No! And now that you're under my control, I need you to bring me the baby Brachiosaurus to my super secret transporter and T-Rex ranch. Understood? Yes, Dino Master. <laughs> 42 minutes earlier. I cannot believe we have a device that can actually translate dinosaurs. It's an amazing scientific breakthrough. Yeah, pretty cool. Sorry you can't come on our first translation trip. That's okay. Maybe you should bring some of the gadgets. Like the Electrofence gadget, just in case Arexo's translations don't work very well. Thank you. And you're sure you're okay to stay and babysit the baby dinos until Macy gets back from her dog walking? Yeah, I'll be fine. Maybe I'll even take a nap. That'll be Park Ranger Orson and Park Ranger Wyatt and the T-Rex one. Don't get into too much trouble, okay? Who, me? business is a lot more exercise than I ever thought. My legs feel like jelly. What's jiggling on your end, Park Ranger Asher? Nothing jiggling in here. Just a totally normal day. Uh-huh. This works. Yoo-hoo, Arexa. Hello, Park Ranger Bella. How can I help you? Translate dinosaur sounds. Translating. I think she's saying, I am acrobat. That can't be right. So, what do you think we should do today, Park Ranger Asher? Set the T-Rexes free. Sure, and what about the raptors? Let them loose in libraries. Maybe. Go for Park Ranger Maisie. Maisie, this is Park Ranger Orson. Park Ranger Wyatt, Bella, and I have unfortunately encountered a... I think you get the picture. Mind heading over this way and driving our Park Rangers and the T-Rex 1 to complete their mission? I gotta hang back and diagnose some tummy troubles. Sometimes this job really stinks. <coughs> Copy that, Park Ranger. Stay strong, and I'll be there in two shakes of a Triceratops tail. Are you gonna be okay here by yourself while I go get the other Park Rangers? Yes, Mommy. You mean Park Ranger Mommy. I mean Maisie. Yes, Maisie. Mm, I'm not convinced you're okay, but... Just stay here, and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Remember, 10 minutes.
Translating. I love macaroni and cheese. Sorry, not accurate. But what if he does love mac and cheese? I do. No time for small talk! Get in! I got a rogue Gigantosaurus on my tail! You'll have to ask me twice. Come on, Park Ranger! Gotta go! You have a Repta. Translate, please. I think she's saying shrimps and grits. There's mac and cheese, no shrimp and grits! You gotta go hungry! This thing's toast. Punch it. Gigantosaurus to keep them all distracted. <laughs> Ready for the transportal. The baby Brachiosaurus is in my bag. Splendid. Now, just grab the battle line and proceed to the coordinates we discussed. Your wish is my command. What? I'm not a genie! Well, close enough. You know how some days just feel kind of off? This is one of those days. Tell me about it. I ran into Asher at Dino HQ and he was being really weird. Was he walking stiffly with a glazed look in his eyes? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh man, something's up. Let's go find out what's happening. What are you up to, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah, good question. Yeah, I know. Don't be shy. How do you like my transporter? Just a little something I whipped up the transport matter through time and space. Now all you have to do is release the baby Brachiosaurus and nudge him towards my transport. He's under some kind of spell. <gasps> Into the transportal. Asher, no! <gasps> Got what's coming to ya. Where am I? Why am I inside the electro fence? Because the Dino Master put you under some sort of trance. But you'll be okay soon. And don't listen to them, Park Ranger. Sorry, the electro fence also dehypnotizes anyone inside. So Asher is no longer under your control. Well, of course I know that. I invented the thing. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, everyone. Don't mention it. Although you did call me Park Ranger Mommy when you were under the Dino Master spell, so let's never mention that again, okay? Okay, fair enough. Aw, can you assist? Yoo-hoo, Arexa, translate Dino Sats. Translating. My car is a library for hot air balloons. What's that supposed to mean? It means that Arexa's Dino Translator doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting all this, Sam? Yes, I am! Looks like we finally found the legendary word I know! Run! Three hours earlier. I proudly present to you the newest addition to T-Rex Ranch. <clears throat> Drum roll, please. The latest in fresh storage technology. Is it a robot? What? No, it's a mini fridge. That's all? Just a mini fridge? For Grangers, this is a very exciting development. We can use it to store specimens in the field, baby dino treats, and most importantly, 
Lunch. What are we looking at? It's like the inside of a trash can, but cold. Oh, horse feathers. Somebody drank my juice box and ate my sardine sandwich. Who would do that? Nobody I know. Really? Nobody you know? Hey, don't look at me. I bring my own lunch. What about you, Greenhorn? I'm sorry, I have no idea. <sighs> no, I apologize. The temper's a bit short today because I slept poorly. And I lost my hat, which is odd because I usually wear it to sleep. That is odd. Right? Then somebody steals my lunch, and to top it all off, I've got these scratch marks up and down my arms, and I don't know why. Hmm. Do you own a cat? Does anybody ever really own a cat? Hey, what's going on? Well, you're just in time for some pretty big news. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, okay. Park Ranger Orson bought a new fridge that looks like a robot, but it's not. Also, someone stole his lunch. <laughs> See for yourself. I'd ask that you avoid touching anything. This is a crime scene now. Ew! What is that smell? Sardines. I just don't know who else with access to the mini fridge and an insatiable appetite would do such a thing. Was it one of you? I don't think they like sardines either. Then it looks like we got ourselves a good old fashioned mystery. The case of the I solved the mystery. It's obviously the were dino. Uh, what's a were dino? I'm glad you asked. The were dino is a legendary beast inside T Rex Ranch. Every month, in the last three days of a full moon, the were dino's curse changes a man into a werewolf, and then the werewolf changes into a raptor! Roar! Uh -huh. We've been through this before, Asher. There's no such thing as a were dino. Are you sure? Every time something mysterious happens, Asher blames it on a were dino. Yeah, when our recycling bins got knocked over, Asher said it was the were dino. It was raccoons. We're raccoons! No. Well, whomever it was, they're not gonna get away with it twice. I'm gonna install surveillance cameras inside and outside Dino HQ and catch the thief in the act. After a very quick nap. <sighs> Great! In the meantime, Sam and I will catch the Weird Dino ourselves, right? Oh, okay, sure. There's no such thing as a were dino. I don't want to take anything off the table. Hello, Monster fans! This is Park Ranger Asher. And Park Ranger Sam. And we're in the Raptor Paddock, looking for a were dino. Sam and I put two were dino traps. Tell them, Sam. Trap A is a personal electro fence that activates whenever the were dino steps over it. And trap B is a net inside Dino HQ. If he escapes trap A, trap B will catch him for sure. Right now, we're looking for clues. Whoa, I think I found something. Property of Park Ranger Orson? Why would Orson's hat be out here? I slept poorly and I lost my hat. I've got these scratch marks up and down my arms and I don't know why. No way, Park Ranger Orson is the word I know. He is? It all makes sense. We found his hat in the woods. He has scratches on his arms, probably from running around the bushes. And he's tired from being out all night. You're getting all this, Sam? Yes, I am. Looks like we finally found the legendary word I know. Run! Baloney may never be the same. Asher, what if we lure the were diner to trap A using Orson's hat? Great idea, Sam! To trap A! To trap A! What 
Now. Now we hide and wait. Any second now. This is so exciting. But wait, what if Orson really is the were-dino? The electro fence won't hurt him, will it? Nah. Probably not. Uh-oh, what's he doing now? Where do you think he's going? To get a snack. From his new fridge. <gasps> this is Park Ranger Asher to all available Park Rangers. A loose raptor, I mean were-dino, is headed towards Dino HQ. And he may be armed with terrible sardine breath. Looks like he's here already. Oh boy. We did it. We caught the wear dino. Not sure. Does the wear dino wear pajamas? I'm not the wear dino. That's just the kind of thing a wear dino would say. Asher! We just corralled the rogue raptor you called in and put her back in the raptor paddock. It's a good thing we haven't left yet. Wait, if you just caught a raptor headed to Dino HQ, then that means... Uh-oh! That means Park Ranger Orson isn't the wear dino. Like I said... Then why are you in the wear dino trap? I think I can explain. This is the surveillance video from last night. Th that's me. I'm, I'm sleepwalking. We see. Ouch! Uh. I had a dream last night that a raptor attacked me. Time to fend him off. Luckily, we found your hat. Hey! <laughs> Oh, so I was stealing my own lunch. I guess I owe everyone an apology. <laughs> well, I guess we proved that there's no such thing as a wear dino. Have we? Yes. yes! And that nobody likes starting sandwiches with Parker and Jorson. It's the Dino Master. Looks like he's having some problems at home. Ah, you're in big trouble, mister! <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Pay no attention to what you see. Whoa, a baby dinosaur? Is that the one you plan to kidnap Uncle Dan? Ah, what? I have no idea what he's talking about. No idea. Who's your new friend, Uncle Dan? Yeah, this is my nephew, Finn. What's good, people? His mom said, we'll be back by noon, but now they're hours late and I have an engagement. He's got a pottery class. You mean pottery class? No, pottery. He's learning how to make better evil plots. <laughs> Are you serious right now? What am I supposed to do with you? Hey, do you need help babysitting? What? I have sitting experience. Yeah. With dogs and reptiles. And you're kind of a softie. Babysitting? I am 10 years old, ma'am. Doesn't matter. You're high. Just don't tell his mom. You can be a more ill temper than I am. Hold on, so I don't get a say in this? How about I give you a dino fudgesicle? I don't take bribes. Two dino fudgesicles. You drive a hard bargain, kid. Fine. I'll send them right over. Yeah, uh -uh. Oops, gotta go. Well, that was entertaining. to meet us here, right? 
think so. I still can't believe you offered to babysit the bad guy's nephew. Hey, hang on. We know the Dino Master's evil. Doesn't mean his nephew is. Fair point. Looks like he changed his mind anyway. Let's head back to Dino HQ. Wait, how'd he get here? Finn? found him trying to steal our baby Triceratops. I'm sure this is all a big misunderstanding. Right, Finn? Definitely. But since he's so interested in dinosaurs, maybe Bella, our serious paleontologist, could show him a few more outside. Can't. I'm studying Protinosaurus social behavior. And Asher volunteered to be my assistant. I did? At a boy, Park Ranger. You're one step closer to that homework helper badge. I am? Yes. In fact, we must urgently make our way to the Botanosaurus Dome. But that's so far. I can drive you in the T-Rex 1. Let's go now. Sort of gadget. Uh, it looks like something my uncle might have made. That is not a toy, Finn. It's the imaginary blaster. The imaginary what? It, it does whatever you think it does. I don't know what it does. Shoots feathers or something? <laughs> yes, that's what you think it does. Oops. Okay. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, you gotta clean up this whole place. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, trash cans in the corner. I'll get the broom. And as soon as you're done, take the garbage bags outside and put them in the secure dumpster so that dinos don't get to them. Please, and thank you. Who's the softy now? Perfect spot. You set the food out, right, Parkland Drasher? Um, no. You wait the dino kibble. Maybe. Yes. I'm gonna finish this on my own. Okay. <laughs> Delightful! You can park those bags of smelly feathers right over yonder. Hey, I didn't make them smelly. I just made the feathers. And I'm still not quite sure how. Well, it's your responsibility. So you throw them in the dumpster, and I'll meet you down the trail. Ugh, fine. Nah, forget this. Why are peeps so hard to study up close? Huh, maybe they're shy, but also nervous. <laughs> Not like me, of course. Finn, what are you doing here? Uh, I was told to see if you needed any help as a park ranger tryout, maybe? Really? I'll talk to Orson about that, but no thank you. I think you've helped plenty. Okay. Do you really want to know more about dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, uh... What's that? That's a pteranodon. <laughs> Actually, a lot of pteranodons. Let's go see where they're going. And done! Wow! You're telling me they have these puzzles in all different sizes and shapes? Yeah, but they're not really puzzles. Where's Bella? We have to find her. Let's go! Ow! 
I can't remember where we parked the T-Rex one. Oh, uh, what do we do now? Run! This is next level. Do you mind taking a picture with me and the uh, Allosaurus? Yeah, Allosaurus! He's gonna have pause in about 10 seconds, so. Pictures later. That's cool. <laughs> Yes, I'd say a dozen pteranodons of a Tynosaurus is having a garbage party. <gasps> Where's Finn? into the dumpsters like I asked. Maybe that inside looks close. Close for trying? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Alexa, call the Dino Master. Calling the Dino Master. Our class, I'm on a five minute break from pottery class. You have to take Finn back. He's misbehaving. Good, at least he's doing something right. <laughs> but I'm not. I don't want to be like you, Uncle Dan. I want to learn about dinosaurs, invent gadgets, and go on adventures. Learn to tie garbage bags? Maybe. Who knows? Hmm. Interesting twist. Well, we'll talk more about this sudden interest in being good on the way home. You know what? Maybe we could watch him just a little while longer. Wonderful. See you later. So, what do we do now? First thing? You're gonna clean up all this garbage. For that, Finn, you could earn the Garbage Gatherer Park Ranger Achievement Badge. But I'm not a park ranger. True, but our friend Sam here was a robot under the Dino Master's control just a couple months ago. So, I guess what I'm saying is, anything's possible. Oh, did my eyes do the red glowy thing again? Sorry. <laughs> See you next time! Every time she hits the wall, she gets back up again. That is resilience. Almost done and got it! What you got, Park Ranger? My latest gadget! Dino Remote Control. It can pause, play, rewind, and fast forward any dinosaur just by pointing it at them. Wanna see? Are you sure it's safe? Sure. If you say so. Come here, little lady. I can't believe it! It worked! I thought you said... Never mind. And now, for the real test. Let me try to rewind you. I've been thinking. Orson, maybe it's time we tell Park Ranger Sam the truth. The truth about what? Santa Claus? <laughs> What's the truth about Santa Claus? 
that he's a really good gift giver. Come on, it's not a big secret. No, I've been thinking we should tell Sam once and for all that she's an invention of the Dino Master. I mean, if I were a robot, I'd want to know. You'd tell me if I was, right? Yes. I'm a robot? No, 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 of course you're not a robot. And you know me. I am physically incapable of telling a lie. <laughs> Maybe I'm a robot. Wait, are you sure this is a good idea? Well, if my calculations are correct, pressing this button will remind our baby dino to go back to where she started. A second? Sure, what's up? We have some news for you that might sound a little strange. Is it about Santa Claus? Because I already know. What about Santa Claus? That he can't possibly deliver all those presents in one night. He can't? <clears throat> uh, which is why he has 36 hours on account of the multiple time zones across the globe. Everybody knows this. Right, right. Everybody knows this. Anyway. Sam, there's something very unique about you that Park Ranger Orson and I thought you should know. Okay. You know the Dino Master, right? Sworn enemy of the T-Rex Ranch Park Rangers. Of course. Yeah, he invented you. That's ridiculous. How do you invent a person? Well, that's just it. You're actually a robot with three settings, real girl, robo girl, and the Dino Master's henchman. I don't recommend the third setting. We rescued you from the Dino Master's control, rebooted you, and changed your settings to real girl so you wouldn't remember that you were a robot. But if you want, we can change you back to robo girl so that you'd have your robot powers as well. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a minute. Imagine that. <laughs> okay, so if I'm a robot, then I have to have some sort of control panel, right? Exactly. <laughs> what about a pteranodon? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah, but I want to test out something bigger, like a triceratops or stegosaurus. That big enough for ya? Um, technically, but I think a gigantosaurus is a little bigger. Asher! Kidding! Kidding! Reset me and change my settings to Robo Girl? Correct. Okay, I'm not trying to be mean, but this is the most ridiculous thing ever. I mean, you can't just. <laughs> that was weird. As I was saying, Please return her to the evil battle laboratory. 
Help me, the Battle Master. I'm gonna turn this off. <laughs> Did I just project that hologram from my eyeballs? Pretty cool, huh? Um, I'm not sure. I need a minute or two to myself. Robot Blues. Seen it happen. It's okay. She needs this time. Well, like my mom always says, be kind and rewind. <laughs> Do you think I'm weird? Of course not. I think robots are awesome, and girls are... Well, let's just say it all evens out. Thanks, Asher. That makes me feel better. I would hug you, but... We don't need to hug. Hey, where's Maisie? Oh, well, hopefully she's still on pause between the jaws of a hungry T-Rex. What? I'll tell you the whole story on the way there. Let's go! Hmm. I see your problem. Luckily, you have a full-fledged robot park ranger ready to help. What do we do? As soon as I give you the signal, press play and stand back. Hit it! story. Actually, I can tell you the whole thing in 8.7 seconds. So I'm a robot, but it's cool. Is there something you're not telling me about Santa Claus? You can't lie, remember? All right, Park Ranger, here's the truth. Santa isn't Really a native of the North Pole. I knew it. Is he from the Midwest? I just get that vibe, don't you? Yeah. It's been a while. We should take the babies and head back to HQ. Good call. Hey! The gang's all here. Maisie, doing all right? You're looking a bit pale. Oh, it's because a T-Rex almost ate me and I was frozen between his jaws for what felt like a very long time. So yes, it's been a day. Thanks for asking. Another day at the ranch. Ah, good point. What's that, Asher? A new gadget? Yeah, but it's broken. How do you install a flash drive to do a diagnostic? How about a thumb drive? Sure. My pinky's also a corkscrew if that helps anybody. Santa isn't really a native of the North Pole. <laughs> the nervous guy. Hey, Gumdrop, put Park Ranger Orson down for a lump of coal this year. That's right, Park Ranger Orson from T Rex Ranch. Flying that omnibus. Five years ago. Mmm, man. Nothing like a sandwich break after patching up the laser fences, huh? Hey, where's your sandwich, Dan? Not hungry, but I do have something to show you. Cool mask. What's it do? Oh, nothing much. Just grants the wearer the power to control the mind of any dinosaur they want. Sounds kind of dangerous. 
Not to mention a little far-fetched. Are you sure it works? Of course. All my inventions work. Okay, lunchtime's over. Oh, wait! Let me try my device first! No can do, park ranger. We gotta drive fast. Right now! Come on, Dan! We'll try it out later! After that, the Dino Master left the ranch and he's been plotting his revenge ever since. All because you didn't let him wear his Dino Master mask? Like, 85% sure. I can't believe it's been five years to the day. A lot of knocks on the door of our secret dinosaur sanctuary lately. And everyone who knows about T-Rex Ranch is in this room. All except one. Who's that? The Dino Master. <gasps> Dino Master? Me? No. I'm Judo Master. Like a martial artist? No, no, just Judo Master. You clearly have me confused with my twin brother, Dan. Wait, back up. So the Dino Master's real name is Dan. Oh, Master. Yes, it's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I realize it's a it's a humorous name. Okay, Jude. Let's say you really are the Dino Master's twin brother. Why are you here? To share a message on Dan's behalf. There's no hard feelings the way you treated him. I'm sorry. The way we treated him. Well, surely you remember how it all went down. Dan had brought his favorite sandwich to lunch. Limburger cheese with burnt tomatoes and anchovies. Gotta go, Maisie. But then, it was stolen right out from under his useless nose. He tragically lost his sense of smell chowder. Dan never thought his fellow park rangers would steal his beloved sandwich. Ooh, smelly. But still, they did. Hey, Dan, where's your sandwich? <laughs> Not hungry. <laughs> So the Dino Master became an evil villain bent on destroying T-Rex Ranch because of a sandwich? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds kind of dramatic, but yes. Anywho, after five years, all he wants is an apology. To show that there's no hard feelings, he offers this gift. Whoa, cool cue. What does it do? Dan said you would know. Bet I can figure it out. I was built by the Dino Master after all, still under warranty. How about you two take the mystery box outside and report back? We'll stay here with Jude. Okay. What should we do first? Press, Press the, the button. button! Wait, what if something bad happens? Like, what if it's a fart box? Ew, what's that? It's a box that makes farts. Aren't you a fart box, Asher? <laughs> okay, let's press it together. But don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> let's point at stuff and see what happens. Good idea. Look, I know sometimes it can be hard to apologize, but in all fairness, you did eat his sandwich. I will admit to the sandwich theft. But it was a mistake. And what about all of the awful things that he did to us? Uh, well, we've all had our little oopsies in the past, right? 
Yoo-hoo, Rexa, please tell us all the times the Dino Master carried out an evil scheme here at T-Rex Ranch. My pleasure. Starting alphabetically with A. Aardvark army attack. Ant infestation. Appetite accelerant for velociraptors. Aquarium water in the cooler. Shall I continue? Good for now. Thanks. Okay, but tell me this. Weren't some of these schemes in the name of science and discovery? I mean, sure. Those were some very organized aardvarks. I have a question. Can you prove that you're not the Dino Master? Of course. I'll just call him up. No. Ask him to come here. Sure, why not? Triceratops test in three, two, one. Ha! It is a fart box! Let's do it again! Well, maybe it's a coincidence. She even want it. Well, it is the holiday season. Maybe it's a gift. Let's follow her and find out. Hey, I brought a sandwich platter. One of those is my favorite. Limburger cheese with anchovies and burnt tomato slices. So don't eat it. Hmm. Hello, brother. We have seen you here. Sorry you had to come all this way, Dan. They didn't believe me. Still don't, in fact. You mind taking off that mask so we know it's really you under there? <laughs> really? I even brought finger sandwiches, not even made out of real fingers, which I could have easily done. <laughs> Fine. <gasps> Told you. Great, now let's hear each other out. Macy? Dino Master? Dan, I'm sorry I ate your sandwich five years ago. I didn't realize it was yours, but I should have asked. Thank you, Macy. Dino Master? Okay, fine. And I'm sorry I slightly overreacted into becoming an evil supervillain. Proud of you, twin bro. Great. Now let's shake on it and call a truce. Now, for friends of T-Rex Ranch only, how would you like to meet our new baby dinos? Oh, well, it's about time. I, I, I mean, sure. Sounds well. Hey, it's the mystery box. The button is the same color as the eggs. That's probably why the mama Tranodon took the box. Quick. Grab it before she gets back. Sam, look! There's a door! And an egg inside! <gasps> Here goes nothing. Detecting Pteranodon egg. We did it! We solved the mystery of the mystery box! <laughs> Gotta go! Get in there, Jude. Well, that's all right. There'll be plenty of time for that later. I gotta hand it to you, Dan. These sandwiches are delicious. Wait, which one did you have? Hmm, tastes like Limburger cheese, burnt tomatoes, and anchovies. Oh no. Not again, not again! All that nicey nice truce business was all just a front so you can steal my sandwich again. Unbelievable. But they weren't even labeled. That's what the chow team is for. The what? Hey guys, we just found out that... What? What's the Dino 
Master doing here? Ugh. They'll explain later. Cube, please. Sandwich, please. Detecting Limburger cheese, burnt tomato slices, pumpernickel. Huh, cool gadget. I know it is. The chow chamber is a brilliant invention and now it's tainted forever. Sorry, Jude. We'll have to come back another time and steal our baby dino. I'm disgusted by the sight of these sound stealers. You haven't seen the last of the dino master. <laughs> Nice to meet you all. The burnt tomato really complements the smelly cheese. Yeah, Ugh. gross. I know, right? Thirty-nine minutes later. Good news! Got our park ranger uniforms back, all dry cleaned and pressed. How's that busted dino trap coming along? All fixed. Fantastic. That's two chores down. Yoo-hoo, Rexa. Yes, park ranger Orson. What's left on our daily task list? There are currently 173 items remaining. You're kidding me. <laughs> Hey, Park Rangers. You seem stressed. Or hungry. I can't quite tell. Definitely stressed. Too much to do, and not enough time to do it. Do you want help? That'd be great, actually. We could really use an extra hand. Oh, I only have the two. That's okay, Sam. We got it. Orson, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Not enough starch on the uniforms. I agree. No. Maybe there's another way we can get help from Sam. Or should I call her the secret autonomous machine? We could switch her into robo girl mode. I don't know. She's been in real girl mode ever since she got here. But what's the use in having a robot around if she can't do robot stuff? How else are we going to complete our monthly task list on time? It is the last day of the month, and I do not want to find out what happens if we don't finish on time. Just leave it to me, I got this. Hey, Sam, can you grab me a pair? They're in the bottom drawer. Sure, happy to help. Hmm, I don't see anything. Oh, wait. No, that's a potato. Thank you for activating RoboGirl Sam. My power cell is currently at 99% battery life. Also, there are no pairs in this fridge, nor have there ever been. Oh, uh, no worries. Hey, we thought about it, and we'd love your help finishing our chores. Of course. What can I do? We have a task list, but in general, uh, fix whatever needs fixing. I understand that. Thank you. There seems to be a loose thread in your scarf. I can fix that. May I? This says a seismic disturbance started in the clearing just ahead. What do you think caused it? Big dino footsteps? Maybe, but it looks like something fell from the sky and landed right... Here! Whoa, what is that? Well, let's go find out. like an Allosaurus. Big one, too. And it went right through the rainbow. I wonder what that means. Did you hear that? It's not usually a good sign, but I don't see anything, so... You 
also saw a bright green Allosaurus, right? Yeah. Let's go follow it. Sure. Why not? Hey, Sam, we're back from the... Hey, park rangers. Hey, Sam. What's happening here? Oh. Well, I was about to fix Orson's scarf, but when I sat down on the couch to sew it, I noticed a loose spring. So I moved the couch, which exposed a loose floorboard. Okay, but is any of this on our task list? I don't know. You tell me. Reshingle the roof. Change the oil on the T-Rex 1. Organize all the rocks in T-Rex Ranch by size, weight, and color. Sam, are you sure about all this? Oh, yes. After all, I had been asked to fix whatever needs fixing. She can't keep this up forever, right? Of course not. After 5,000 years of activity, my battery level will decrease to 50% of its current level. Oh. We've made a huge mistake. If the other dinos can't see that Allosaurus coming, he could wipe out the whole park. Good thing I brought the rainbow, right? It can change the color of anything it zapped. Nice. Did you invent that? No, I found it in the Dynamaster gadget closet. Where'd you pull it out from? I don't suppose it does anything more helpful? Guess we'll find out. Let me try a different setting. What happened? Why'd they leave? I think they were embarrassed, but very patriotic. Does that roof seem leaky to you? I'm gonna go check it out. We need to do something. She's never gonna stop. Okay, let's think carefully. Do we have any sort of instructional manual for Sam? Actually, we kind of do. Let me get this straight, Park Rangers. First, you steal my robot, and now you want my help fixing her? Huh? That is rich! We're not asking for your help, Dino Master. Just a little advice. Oh, let me think about that for a sec. No! How about that, huh? How about no? I knew this was a waste of time. The truth is, Park Rangers. Yes. The only way to get Sam to break away from her infinite task loop is to give her an impassable task, which will cause her to reboot. But, when you know it, there's nothing she can't do, because the person who created her is a genius! Me, in case you forgot. Wait, that's it. There's nothing she can't do. Hold on! Don't start getting ideas from my cruel mockery! No, wait! Don't tell me off! Don't tell me off! I'm not done mockery! Wait, don't tell me off! All right, I know what to do. Let's get Sam back here. Hey, Sam! Would you come down for a minute? I think you missed a speck of dust on the floor. Oh no, be right there. Oh, look! It's an Allosaurus nest, but where's the Allosaurus? Looks like he's everywhere. <gasps> I've got an idea. Helping exactly? Look over there! Okay, I've got a new plan. Run for it! Oh, We're trapped! Wait, zap me! What? Why? Just zap me! They're confused! Now's your chance! Happy to help. Happy to help you too. Finally, everything is back to normal. <clears throat> oh, right. One sec. Where is the patch of dust? Oh, we'll take care of it. But we do have one more urgent job for you, and it needs to be done before anything else on your list. Okay, what is it? We need you to do nothing. Nothing. That's right. Absolutely nothing. But that's impossible. 
Even when I'm doing nothing, I'm still doing something. I'm I'm breathing, I'm standing, I'm talking. It's 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 impossible. System malfunction, convincing reboot. I think it worked. Sam, you in there? I just had the weirdest dream. Why are you staring at me? No reason, nothing to worry about. Wow, it's so clean in here. You could thank Sam for that. Thanks, Sam, it looks great. Why are you purple? You can thank Asher for that. The rainbow ray ran out of batteries. It happens. Being a park ranger at T-Rex Ranch is no joke. We have big dinosaurs and small dinosaurs. We have meat-eating dinosaurs and plant-eating dinosaurs. No, we have dinosaurs that like to play games and dinosaurs that don't like to play games. I call them dinosaur losers. <laughs> I'm here to teach you everything you need to know, Park Ranger Rosie. I'm so excited. Do you think I'll meet a T-Rex today? Oh, you might. And my job is to teach you everything you need to know in case that very scary situation should arise. Now, step one of Park Ranger orientation is to read the Park Ranger handbook. Got it. So let's see what this handbook has to say. It says, don't read this handbook. Listen to Park Ranger Andy. Well, that's what the book says. That's what the book says. Now, instead of reading some boring old book, we're gonna do something fun. Gadgets. Oh, do you know what all these gadgets do? Well, of course. They don't just let any old park ranger teach park ranger orientation. What's this one do? Well, that one is, uh, I mean, it's, uh, I have no idea. Let's try it. Whoa! It's a portal blaster! Where do you think the portal goes? Uh, good question. Wait, don't do that! Relax, Park Ranger Andy. It felt like going into a swimming pool, but not wet. some swirling, non-wet pool portal thingy. Oh, yes, you are. Whoa! Herbivore Valley! But that's miles from the picnic area. What a convenient way to travel. I think this blaster will take us anywhere on the ramp. It's hard to tell exactly where. Bye, right, this portal will take us to Fossil Forest. Well, let's find out. Fossil Forest! You did it, Park Ranger Rosie! But now we really should get back to home base. I still have a lot to teach you, and my favorite part of the orientation is still coming up. What's that? Lunch! Okay, setting a course for the picnic tables. Uh, Park Ranger Rosie, this isn't the picnic area. I know what happened. I set it to the right coordinates. Maybe it's broken. Oh. Don't worry, Parker and Andy. We'll get back in time for lunch. We better, or we're gonna be somebody's lunch. We gotta find a place to hide. Why is she chasing us? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I forgot her birthday. Uh, I'm sorry. Like I remember four days later, but then it was kind of awkward to say something, you know? Let's hide behind that tree. Wait, look! She's not chasing us! She's chasing that raptor! I have an idea! He's still in! 
Wow! What a great idea! We just send her. I think to the other side of T-Rex Mountain. But I'm not totally sure. Hmm. You're getting quite the orientation out here all day. I'm a pretty good teacher, aren't I? No! Don't answer that! Ah! <laughs> Use your portal flash and attend us back to home, baby! But what if it doesn't work? Uh, anywhere is better than here! Good point! Park Ranger Rosie's location? What's this? Park Ranger Rosie? It's not connected to the T-Rex Ranch Network? We're connected to a Rex size step four of the Park Ranger orientation! <gasps> Beginning to think I shouldn't have skipped the boring parts. That's weird. Why isn't the portal blaster blasting portals? Where are all these portals coming from? <gasps> Park Ranger Rosie must be sitting up from the other side. I'm coming for you, Rosie! That worked. Well, I knew that book would come in handy sooner or later. Focus, what do you gotta do? Oh yeah, I gotta find Park Ranger Rosie. Inverted portal switch. For when you find yourself in an upside down, inverted, or backward situation. I think that's me. Flip on the switch. Here goes nothing. Yes! Yes! I'm back! Now, all I have to do is portal back to home base and meet up with Park Ranger Andy! So come on, Portal Blaster! What did I ever do to you? Ah! How am I gonna get back without the Portal Blaster? Think, Rosie, think! I got it! If I can identify what type of dinosaur is making all that noise, then I can figure out where I am on the map and get back to home base. I just hope I'm not a dinosaur that likes to eat kids. Three horns, strony fro, and loves to munch on leaves. Definitely a triceratops, which means it must be in Herbivore Valley, and home base must be that way. A 
park ranger, I turn out to be. I'm not worthy to wear the vest, this neckerchief. In fact, I'm not worthy to wear this park ranger outfit at all. Sure you are, park ranger Andy. No. Park ranger Rosie, where did you, how, I did I, I, I looked everywhere for you. I had a little help from the park ranger handbook. And while I was waiting for you, I added some new pages on the portal blaster. Tricky little gadget. Huh, well I'll be. I guess that the boring parts of training are just as important as the fun parts. You know, I'm gonna do things the official way next time. Well in that case, can we start my orientation over? Say no more. Welcome to your first day as a T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger. Now step one of your orientation is to read the handbook. Speaking of, where did I leave my handbook? Forty-three minutes earlier. Hello, babies. Hope you're staying out of trouble. I got some egg watching to do. Now, why won't you hatch? Can I help you, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah, I was hoping to borrow one of your books. Oh, that's great. I'm so excited you're showing an interest in reading. Let's see. We've got A Modern History of Paleontology. Can you dig it? Tales of a Fossil Hunter. Oh, that's clever. It doesn't really matter. I just need them to walk over the lava. Walk over the what now? You've got to be kidding me. Hey, Park Ranger Bella, come take a look at this. On my way. Be careful of the lava. I'll take my chances. Does that look like a crack to you? I'm not sure. Think it's a dud? Could be. Or a dino master trick. Oh, I wish there was some way to find out. Why don't you call him and ask? Are you staring at me because I'm on the table or because of what I said? Both. Although. You're not thinking. I am. What would Park Ranger Orson say? Probably something like, I wouldn't trust the Dino Master as far as I can throw him. That's a good impression. Thanks. But we shouldn't bother Orson while he's on vacation. I bet he's having the time of his life. This is boring. Or not. Hard to say with him. We're all in agreement that calling the Dino Master is a ridiculous idea. Right. I mean, how would we even get a hold of him? Easy, like this. Yoo hoo, Arexa. Yes, Park Ranger Asher. How can I help you today? Call the Dino Master. We want to ask him a question. Calling the Dino Master now. I'm sorry. New phone. Who this? Oh, Park Rangers. Did you mean to call me? Actually, we did. Don't worry. This is weird for us, too. Well, I'm extremely annoyed that you called. What do you want? Our golden dino egg isn't hatching, and we're wondering if there's actually a baby dino inside, or... Or if it's one of your tricks again. No, not one of my tricks, I'm afraid. But, and I know you want to believe me, legend has it if you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, you... Actually, can you hold? What's he doing? Hello, this is the Dino Master. Still us. Oh, sorry about that. 
What was that? Oh, yes. If you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, a full-grown dinosaur will appear inside the egg. Sounds easy enough. See, you say that, but first you must complete three trials. Cross the lake of fire, bow to the Patinosaurus guardian, and win a staring contest with the Stegosaurus. Come on. We don't believe you, Dino Master. Fine. Go see for yourself. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I don't like the sound of that laugh. It's the laugh I was born with. Listen, you called me! Got it. I think I know the place he's talking about. There's a clearing just north of the Photinosaurus jump. Big enough to hide a spiral rock formation. This is definitely the craziest thing we've ever done. Yeah. <sighs> okay, park rangers, let's take our unhatched egg on a field trip to the mystical dino spiral. Hey, Park Rangers. This is Park Ranger Orson. Well, I guess I'm not officially on duty, so I guess you could call me... On second thought, I still want you to call me Park Ranger Orson. Hey, I thought you were on vacation. I am, but I just wanted to check in and see how things were going. Why? What have you heard? Sorry, uh, what was that? To be honest, I'm, uh, pretty bored. So bored, in fact, I was thinking of calling up the Dino Master for a little excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how ridiculous? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Well, I'll you leave guys you to it. Bark Ranger Orson, over and out. I know, I know. But I can't tell them I'm spending my vacation in T-Rex Ranch. They'll think I'm crazy. Want some? I hope we're doing the right thing. Back soon, babies. Asher, you coming? Yeah. Do I need my backpack? Nah, I got mine. Let's go. Okay. You can't be too careful about the lava. <sighs> this is the Raptor River, but it's been dry a long time. Not much of a fiery lake, if you ask me. Wait, it's a Patinosaurus. Is he guarding the path? <coughs> Doesn't look like it. Maybe we can just ease on by. The Dino Master said to bow. How about a curtsy? <laughs> Bow it is then. No way we're getting past that guy. <gasps> it's the Stegosaurus staring contest. Leave it to me. I was the staring contest champion of my high school. Still go. 
got it. See ya. Nice work. Yeah, great job, Park Ranger Maisie. Um, are you okay? Yeah, it's just, I think my eyeballs might have dried out. Thing, but the lake of fire, apparently. Eh, technically, it's not a spiral, it's more like a maze. Let's go! I feel silly doing this. There's no way the adult version of the dino and the egg is going to show up when we put the egg in the center of the spiral. There's just no scientific basis. Eh, at least we're having some quality time together. I knew it. It's another one of Dino Master's tricks. Wait! <gasps> See? It worked. Hang on. Just because a Triceratops happened to show up doesn't mean that there's a baby Triceratops inside the egg. Judge the Dino Master. Still, it's kind of creepy. Let's get our new baby tribe back to the Dino HQ. <sighs> Hi, we'll be home soon, little one. Let's go this way. You gotta walk out the same way you walk in. That's just good Dino Spiral manners. Yeah, that makes sense. is real, and the bridge is gone. To be continued. What is that? Why can't we see anything? That's not your hot dinosaur breath, is it, Bella? 49 minutes earlier. I am Asher the Amazing. For my first trick, I'm gonna make my assistant disappear. Are you ready? Pierceropolis Alakazam. Now you see him, now you don't. Is that supposed to happen? You all seem to, right? It didn't work. But it was a great effort. And a high degree of difficulty. The guy at the magic shop said I can make things disappear. I guess it doesn't work on dinos. Maybe you just need more practice. Because practice makes- Pancakes. Or so I've heard. Sure. Practice makes pancakes too. <sighs> Now I want pancakes. Sorry to disappoint. Maybe another time? Not to upstage Asher, but I also have something amazing to show everybody outside. Join me. Aren't you coming? Not right now. I'm gonna put my assistant in the pen and start practicing my act. Got it. Well, I look forward to seeing your magic act later. Oh. 
Okay, are you ready? Drum roll, please. Thank you, that was very impressive. Behold. The new and improved T-Rex one. Ooh. Ah. Just look at that dino green paint job. Slithery scales and ferocious fangs. Designed to intimidate even the fiercest of predators. But that's not all. Inside, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cup holders. You have me in cup holders. I've also mounted the Dino Freeze Ray with onboard Invisispecs. Amazing. And now, the piece de resistance. A T-Rex Ranch air freshener. Is that pizza smell? You got it. Because who needs pine scent when you work in a forest? Mmm, pizza! And I almost forgot. One last thing. The new horn sounds like a T-Rex! What? Abracadabra, make this plant disappear! Please? Hey! Maybe you can find some inspiration at the Dino Master's gadget closet. Good idea! Ooh. Invisibility cloak? Okay, this time I, the amazing Asher, will make myself disappear. Ali Shady, Ali Kazam, make myself disappear as fast as you can. Disappear! Box, box, I called it. Shh. Holy surprise, the source, he did it. <laughs> wow. How did you do that? I practice. So I don't suppose you know anything about this invisibility cloak? Okay, I use the invisibility cloak. But isn't it cool? We can sneak around predators. Mm. They would hear us and smell us. Asher, great power comes great- Pancakes! Responsibility. Point is, I don't think you're ready for that cloak. None of us are. Bella, can you please put it away? Dino alert! Yeah, a rogue raptor snuck into Herbivore Valley. Yes! I mean, oh no! I'm just so excited to take the upgraded T-Rex 1 out for a spin! Wanna be my co-pilot? Yes, please. Sam, Asher, I'll put this away, then we'll check the electric fence to see if it's intact and operational. Not only that, the back seat folds into a bed for midday naps. Oh, and I was gonna install a soda machine, but I, I really- Wait, wait, wait. So Stop here. I think we're close. Dino alert. Yeah, sure seems like it. There it is, and it's scaring that poor stag. Hang on, I'll show that raptor something really scary. Ear goggles up, please. Ear goggles? Cover your ears. but it's headed toward HQ. Then so are we. Go for Orson. Rogue Raptor headed your way. Repeat, Rogue Raptor headed your way. Copy that. Asher, I need you to run back to HQ and get the Dino Freeze Ray. Audit. Company's coming. Hmm. It's not here.
Where is that kid? <laughs> oh, thank you. Take it from here. Asher? Woohoo, over here! You old scamp, it is you! Come over here! Come get me! Run, I got this! Just an angry, invisible raptor on the loose. Mondays, right? Use the T-Rex when we'll draw the raptor away. <gasps> Great idea. But how do we stop a dino we can't see? But we can see him. I'll use the invisible specs to reveal the raptor, then zap him with the freeze ray. I like your style, Park Ranger. I have my moments. Do you see him? I see him. <sighs> oh! oh, just you. Thanks for saving our lives. But you know what I'm gonna say next. Now, for my newest trick, I'm gonna make this coin disappear. Mecca, Haney, hey, make the coin go away. New coin! <laughs> <laughs> wow, see, that was highly entertaining, and you didn't need the invisibility cloak to do it. Hey, remember when Asher made that raptor disappear? That was awesome. That wasn't a trick. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. Looks like our Brachiosaurus wants to get in on the fun, too. Hey! Get that back! Pretty please! Yeah! Please! No, 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 no! no. Come on! 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 23 minutes earlier. T-Rex Ranch. The sun is out, not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, so, so much sun. It's the perfect day to earn an achievement badge. Wouldn't you agree, Park Ranger Bella? Yeah, you're right, Park Ranger Macy, and I'm ready for my challenge. Good, because today is your chance to earn T-Rex Ranch's ooeyest, gooeyest badge. The Smorgas Badge. <laughs> Park Rangers? Hi, Park Ranger Orson. Isn't it your day off? You bet. That's why I spent the whole morning cataloging the contents of our herbivore dino droppings. Ew! How is that fun? It's not fun exactly, but knowledge is its own reward. You know what is fun? Me and Park Ranger Wyatt made a really fun game. See? May we present to you Spinny Golf, the world's first off balance sport. Is that a salad bowl? Is that my salad bowl? Um, maybe, but when you flip it over, it's a golf tee. 
you put this big ball on top, you have a giant golf ball. Interesting. And why is it called spinny golf? Because before you hit the ball, you have to spin around five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then you grab the racket, take aim, and whack the ball toward that bucket. Huh. So whoever hits the ball in the bucket wins. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone has made it in the bucket yet. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun trying. Want to give it a shot? How about you show us how it's done first, Park Ranger? One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. five. Faster, 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 faster. by your commitment, but you didn't get the ball in the bucket. That's not the point, Park Ranger Orson. What's the point? To have fun. Thanks, Dad, Metrodon. He's an awesome caddy. Hmm. Hey, check it out. Now this is a roasting stick. What kind of badge is this again? It's the achievement of a delicious campfire tradition. Graham crackers, chocolate and marshmallow in glorious harmony. S'mores? The badge of s'mores. Sounds delicious, right? Yeah, but Park Ranger Orson's badges are more for like, logic or bravery or, not marshmallows. Trust me. You never know when a smorgas badge will come in handy. The best part about spinning golf is you can play anywhere. Okay, here goes nothing. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. five. Hey! Yeah! Well, that was objectively amusing, but you still didn't get the ball in the bucket. Here, you want to give it a try? You know what? Sure. I can have a little fun now and then. Let loose, throw caution to the wind. Oh! Uh, what does that mean? And now I spin? Yup. But first, let me put the ball back. All right. One, two, three. Three's enough. Three. I'm good. Three centimeters by three centimeters. Pretty sweet skills, Park Ranger. One step closer to a smorgas badge. Thanks, but I feel like this is a skill more for junior park rangers, not for serious park rangers who can handle real danger. Those with a smorgas badge laugh in the face of danger. You know what, you're right. I'm here to learn, not critique. That's more like it. Loud and clear, Park Ranger. How can I help? Um, we could use some creative solutions over in Herbivore Valley. We're on our way. Well, that happened. Oh, now I see your problem. Not really a problem, because I had fun getting in there. Okay, what's gotten into him? Isn't it your day off? It is. Uh, he spent the morning looking into dino poop. 
Yeah, that makes sense. So what happened? We were playing spinny golf. And then Park Ranger Orson hit the ball into the mouth of the Brachiosaurus. And now we need it back, because we're having a roaring good time. And if fun isn't my middle name, then I don't know what is. I thought your middle name was Edmonton. Go ahead and drop the ball, buddy. Time for the Rangers to play. I wish there was something else the Brachiosaurus could chew on. Maybe there is. Park Ranger Maisie, we need ooey gooey tasty marshmallows. Stat. Oh no, they're all melted. Even better. If we attach these twigs together to make one giant twig and then attach the giant marshmallow to the top, the dino won't be able to resist. She'll drop the ball immediately. I love this plan. Let's make it happen. Okay, we are ready to go. We did a really good job. Do we have any extra marshmallows? No! Ah, no. oh, shish kebab! Okay, a little bit to the left. Yeah. Okay, now up. I think it's working. I think she's taking the bait. She's got it! There it goes. Orson, catch the ball. Got it. Ew! Dino spin! Wow! You did it! You did it! You won! I did? I did! Ah, oh, but who cares? It's not about winning. It's about having fun taking a chance and seeing where the ball ends up. All I know is I feel alive and wet, very wet. Well, Park Ranger Orson, you're not the only winner here today. Park Ranger Bella, I present to you the tastiest badge of them all, the Smorgas Badge, to recognize your mastery in all things chocolate, marshmallow, graham crackers, and twigs. I'm honored. And a little surprise, mostly because I did not think this was real. The s'more you know. <laughs> Does that mean you got chocolate in your bag? Chocolates are for closers, Park Ranger. Are you sure you're ready to earn your smorgas badge today? Uh, no! I'm gonna keep playing spinny golf! Come on, Asher! <laughs> More for me.